Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and I'm back with another video and this is a random project video. So I just got this guy in the mail today and this is a, um, it's a serial fingerprint sensor and these are pretty cool. It was about 10 bucks I think ish um, and it came with a, a green LED installed uh, but I wanted to be able to control the color to kind of give information feedback without needing extra LEDs or an extra display. So I actually desoldered that, and I soldered in um, one of those 50-50 uh, surface mount uh, RGB LEDs. Um, they basically have all the leads brought out onto six wires, so you can do common anode, common cathode, whatever you want. So I wired it up. Um, basically, it's a common or open collector output, um, and so I wired pretty much all the uh, cathodes to that. And then the anodes are brought out here um, to just digital outputs from this Arduino. So it can drive a red, green, blue. And actually, I could pulse with modulate if I wanted to. But um, I'm just going to leave that part alone for now. I just want to make a quick demo. I used um, Adafruit. They have a, a Arduino library um, that allows you to configure everything to register a fingerprint. And it all just works. So I basically uh, used you know, the, the built-in example code, and I modified it slightly. And I registered my pointer finger, uh, fingerprint, and my other fingerprints I have not registered. So the only one that will unlock it is this finger right here. The rest of them uh, will, will give you, you know, negative uh, readings. So anyway, um, just going to power this up. And you can see red comes on um, kind of when it's in a locked state. So if I want to unlock it, I just put my finger there. Blue means it's reading, and green means it's unlocked. Now, to relock it, I just do the same thing, and it's locked. Now, if it's in the unlock state and it reads a uh, wrong fingerprint, it will go back to, obviously, the lock state. And if it's in the lock state and reads a wrong fingerprint, it remains in the lock state. Okay, and here I am back at it again. I ported the software from the Arduino Uno that I was using, this guy, as I drop my probes. Um, and I ported that over to the Leonardo so I can use the built-in um, USB HID keyboard uh, functionality. And I have this plugged into USB into my computer, and you can see it's sitting in this, uh, this state here. So what I've written is a little bit of code, if you guys can see on the monitor here. Um, I've modified my code a little bit to allow, where's my mouse, here we go. So to allow you to enter a uh, password right in here, um, and you just type it as text and basically when it um, unlocks it'll type your password and then hit enter basically uh, when you want to lock what it does is it hits uh, the windows key and then it hits right two times it hits up and then it hits enter and you can see here by uh, zoom out a little bit if I do that manually if I hit windows right right up and then enter I'll be on the sleep mode um, I can change whatever I can basically hit any of these buttons and because you can navigate the keyboard uh, basically the entire uh, Windows UI via the keyboard so anything you can do with the keyboard I can have my Arduino do so we're just gonna zoom down here I'm gonna zoom all the way out and so I'm going to use uh, my pointer finger can log log in uh, any of my other fingers can log out um, or likewise, if I if it's in the login mode and I hit this, it'll log out. So I'm just gonna hit an incorrect finger, and it should shut down in about a second or so. Let's try that again. There we go, and my computer just went to sleep. Now to wake it up, unfortunately, you for some reason I'm guessing um, the USB driver or something the way that the Arduino sends commands, it can't wake a computer from USB. Uh, using the Arduino software, unfortunately. So you still have to hit a key any key on a keyboard or a mouse, move it, and it'll wake up the computer enough for you to enter the password. And um, I'm just going to zoom out here and just press correct finger, and you can see it just logged me right back in, and now it's in the blue state. If I want to go to sleep again, just do that, and we're asleep. So yeah, everything works. Um, works pretty well actually I'm surprised um, so yeah um, this is easily expandable I can have it do pretty much whatever I want I'm gonna 3d print a nice little case I'm gonna actually not use this board I'm gonna probably etch or something like that make a little prototype uh, with just the bare um, 
32U4 AT Mega chip and just make this a tiny little uh, fingerprint reader thing for logging me in and out of a computer quickly um, just by using my fingerprints. So anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I've rambled on for long enough. This was just sort of a very quick project. To write the software to do this took me probably not even half an hour. <laughs> it's very simple. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. And let's just uh, yeah get that to, to turn green there. So yeah, anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.